Hi, I'm Matt Williams. Welcome to Soil Lab. Today I wanted to give you an introduction to a season-long demonstration that we're going to be working on. I'm here in the front yard of a local DIYer that volunteered his yard to answer a question that he had over the winter. He asked me, what's really the difference if I bag my clippings or if I mulch my clippings? And so I said, well, we can do a demonstration and a study if you'd like to figure it out. So he agreed, and here we are just at the second mowing. In one half of the yard, he's going to only mulch the clippings all season long. In the other half of the yard, he's going to bag his clippings all season long. Well, what else is he going to do and what are we going to learn? He's going to treat the entire yard the same. So, so far, we've taken our baseline soil samples before any actions were performed. He's done a light dethatching, and like I mentioned, he's just finished his second mowing. The soil probe I'm using is a six inch probe, uh, and so I'm gonna get a six inch sample each time. If we're not able to get that full probe full, we kick it out, we don't count that as part of our, our subsample group. We're gonna put all of our subsamples together in this tub, and we're gonna mix those up uh, as a composite. If we weren't doing a research study, between five and 10 subsamples for your lawn or garden would be fine. Um, but for the focus of this study and the fact that we want it to be replicated, we're going to be doing 20 subsamples on each side of this yard each month. From here on out through the rest of the growing season, we're going to be taking three soil samples from each side of the yard every month and comparing those and seeing just what that nutritive value of mulching your clippies is or isn't. Uh, please follow along as we continue this through the whole growing season. I look forward to seeing you in the lab.